All right, guys. Uh, let's do the battle of IPAs today. So, uh, me and Ab Abhinav, uh, we actually picked up some IPAs that are currently available in Bangalore. Oh, yeah. And uh, uh, what do you got? I got a can of Beach Shack by Arbor. Oh, I see. So, let's see what you got. Um, I'll hit you up with some Kama Sitra oh. rice. Um, All right. We're not done yet, so I got one more. Okay. Here we go. It's an IPA by Red Rhino. Interesting. So that's uh, quite new to the market. Yeah. This is batch two. That's yeah. New. Really excited for this. And that's it. No, I got something Ooh. more. Bring it on. Let's fucking go. Oh. This is like the newest. Um, yeah. IPA from uh, Bira. I think you can properly call it an IPA, not Indian Pale Ale. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, Thanks don't get don't get confused uh, with the Pomelo Indian Pale Ale, which is not what this is. So we're about to find this out. So how are we gonna do this? I got one more. Oh, oh wait, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> we couldn't find the bottle. It's an IPA. Uh, it's called Eight Finger ID by uh, Goa Brewing Company. So it's not in the shelves at the moment and we couldn't find it anywhere yeah. so we're just gonna gonna have to let that one go yeah yeah, so yeah. we're gonna make do with these four yeah i think i think i haven't seen it as well like in yeah. uh, maybe if you still you can still find it but i'm not sure about its freshness yeah oh yeah. that's a big question as well yeah yeah but uh, yeah let's get into this yeah all right see how this uh, out. so we'll do it individually uh, and taste them through uh, each one of them and then uh, will give an overall impression uh, of all these together at the yeah. end. So Beach Shack is um, their IPA and it's so it's an American IPA. Yeah. Um, this is canned in uh, 21st of December, so about just over three months old. Um, and it's priced at 200. So ABV 6%, IBU 55. Okay. So right. let's get into it. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. Seems a bit hazy. Yeah, there are some uh, particles in there. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing those are from the hops. You know, from the dry yeah. hopping. Right. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty much in the ballpark of what you expect uh, from an American IPA yeah. uh, in terms of color yeah. and clarity. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Is what it is. You get a bit of uh, that lemon pith and grapefruit rind um, in in the lines of that and. Probably a bit of melon. Hmm. I think the bitterness is also quite evident uh, in the finish. As it like as it finishes dry, I think you get that kind of that lingering bitterness, and also feel that alcohol uh, right up there in the finish. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think for me it's pretty much the same. The lemon, the lemony flavor, uh, accompanied by a bit of uh, candied orange like flavor as well. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, absolutely uh, agree with what you said, and also I think there's a bit of that sweetness up front, and uh, uh, as it gets to the uh, uh, as it gets to the mid palate, um, it gives you a lot of these fruity notes uh, from these American hops, and uh, it finishes yeah. dry. And during the finish is what I notice the bitterness, and it lingers onto the finish and aftertaste. But also I think there's a bit of that. I don't know if I wanna call it harsh but sort of bitterness is kind of like taking me down to a place where I feel f where I find it a little uh, harsh but otherwise I think it's still, still pretty good and yeah, it's um, still good still holding up yeah, despite still holding it up. being three months old three three and a half months old yeah. so um, yeah all right so the second one we got in the lineup of the battle of IPAs is Geist Kama Sitra um, so this is uh, six percent ABV and uh, 43 IBUs mm. and I think this is from 29th of uh, Jan 2022 so it's probably two two and a half months old yeah 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 um, mm, this so, one's an American IPA as well yeah they say it's a it's an American style IPA um, all right so, yeah all right, let's, let's do it almost similar to the uh, Arbus Beach Egg, but then this one's slightly a little more paler than that and a little bright but I think it's it's a little more hazy for me compared to yeah. the uh, uh, beach jack. Could be that um, as well. Um, but yeah, I think the color, like you said, is more brighter. Yeah. Uh, but not much of a difference. Yeah. You know, I get a lot of this uh, uh, green melon, like you 
think of something like probably like a honeydew yeah. melon yeah. Uh, and i think there's a bit of that sweet berries um like the ripened berries um definitely more of this sort of the tropical fruit uh, character yeah along with that i get a bit of uh, passion fruit as well oh yeah um but yeah it also leaves my tongue my palate a little dry at the finish i think it has a short finish and it leads to this long dryness uh, that sticks on yeah. to your palate right um, but the flavors are intact i mean flavors i, I really intact. love it uh, i really love yeah. it i love this the best one so far and also find it a little bit little juicy uh, mm. compared to the uh, other yeah. one uh, and also the flavors are more intact in this one uh, and also there's an exception to this because uh, the one we tasted aba um, was already uh, a month older than this one and the condition the storing conditions and the logistics might have been different for yeah. that so but it, it is what it is it's never perfect so we we, yeah. we got to review them as they are yeah so very much of uh, what you expect out of uh, american ipa yeah. you get a burst of those uh, fruity american hops uh, along with a bit of bitterness that's lingering in the finish yeah this this is priced this is a fine ml can and this is priced uh, at 250 rupees hmm all right guys so we have the third ipa for you guys now this is red rhino's ipa um it just says ipa over here but since it says designed in california it must be west coast ipa we'll see yeah all right so this one's uh, packaged on 9th of february not too old probably the freshest of the lot but we'll get to that later um 330 ml of bottle 230 rupees not so bad and i i think this is a second batch uh, they're quite new to the market all right um, okay. cheers cheers love the clarity fairly clear yeah um deep gold i'd say yeah this one seems interesting so far um uh, i feel like this one leans a little more uh, towards the malt Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And I get that caramel, honey-like yeah, yeah. flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get uh, candied lemon and uh, some underripe melon. Uh, and I love the fact uh, that there's a bit of that bitterness in the finish as well, but it's not overwhelming. Um, you can also feel that alcohol warmth um, towards the finish. Mm. It just stays right up there. Um, They don't mention the alcohol percentage, I guess, right? Yeah, uh, from what I remember, it says eight. under eight percent. Under eight percent. So yeah, um, but I think I think I feel like it's over seven yeah, percent. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 agree on that. Carbonation seems to be in good shape. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, uh, even I I perceive this as more of that uh, caramelly malt uh, flavors, and along with some sort of this bread crust notes, uh, like a mm. like lightly toasted bread crust. Um, Yeah, I think the finish is dry. Um, pretty good carbonation, medium body, and um, even uh, the bitterness is uh, lingering in the finish, which I really love about these American IPAs, and it has to be there. If bitterness yeah. has its place in American IPAs, so yeah, that's about it. All right, so next one in our lineup of the battle of IPAs is something that's brand new. Uh, it's from Bira, Bollywood IPA. And this is uh, just over two weeks old, twenty fourth mm. of March, uh, and it's priced at two hundred rupees for a pint ml can. And uh, one thing I, I gotta appreciate about Bira is this artwork, man. Look at this; oh. it's just brilliant. Yeah, that is spectacular. Every can of their uh, uh, newly launched beers have that sort of artwork that is very unique to uh, uh, the style of beer. Like it has a theme of its own. Yeah. Even this has like a, you know, like a cinema theme, like a Bollywood movie uh, theater kind yeah. of like this old school uh, theme. Uh, ABV, I think it just says uh, not exceeding eight percent. So, uh, there, yeah. Let's crack it open. Oh, we haven't tasted this one before. Yeah, it's our first time trying this. So, alright, cheers, cheers. I think it's it's a bit hazy. Um, yeah. Uh, Not a bit, but actually, like quite hazy. Quite hazy. <laughs> quite hazy. Uh, has this like sort of bright yellowish color. Yeah. Um, good uh, white to off white head. Has some floaties going on in there. Yeah, Maybe those the sediments, particles, yeah. hot particles, uh, which are absolutely fine. Even they say that on the can. 
You know, the bad, I pick out those multi flavors as well in this one, uh, more in the lines of this kind of like lightly toasted bread and uh, like caramel, a bit of caramel. I just feel like there's a bit of that raw mango and uh, grapefruiting there, uh, but it's not quite evident. Uh, like I don't think that it's, it's as expressive of what I typically yeah. expect out of a IPA. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I I was trying to find out the hop flavors. It's definitely in there, uh, but it's just that yeah. it's not very evident of yeah. like what you're actually getting. Like you know that there's some sort of that fruity notes in there. Yeah. But it's hard to identify what that is. Yeah. Um, you can get that it's a citrus fruit. Uh, for me, it's a bit of overlap between orange and grapefruit. But I think that's about it. There's nothing much. It's not that expressive, like you said before. And they haven't mentioned the type of IPA in this one, right? It, like a West Coast or... I don't think so. Yeah, they don't mention anything. They just say uh, this is like a Bollywood IPA. But considering the lineup of Bira beers, and uh, they, they have a huge market. And I think this is a great attempt from them. Uh, in uh, producing a style like this uh, yeah. at a commercial scale. Um, They've had one more beer before. I, I think it's still there. It's called Indian Pale Ale. Yeah, Pomelo Indian and Pale Ale. And this one's far more better than Oh, that. yeah, definitely. Like by minds. I think having more hop flavor and aroma doesn't hurt because after three months, you should be able to find those flavors uh, still intact in the beer. So that's very important. Uh, but it's it's okay. I feel like even the bitterness is uh, uh, a little bit lower than what I would typically expect. Probably medium low is yeah. where it is right now. Uh, but I guess yeah, considering it's a mass-produced IPA, they must have you know tuned it down by a notch for the uh, for the folks out there. Yeah. Uh, but overall, a very decent attempt for batch one. Yeah. Uh, so I really look forward to try the next few batches of uh, Bollywood IPA and uh, compare those to uh, the tasting notes that we have here today. All right, so we are finally down to the comparison of the battle of IPAs that we got here today. And these are the four beers that we tried tonight. And uh, we're gonna rank them based on a few things. So first thing, uh, Avinav, I want you to rank these in terms of value for money. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. One being the best value for money, and the fourth being the lowest. Okay. Yep. Uh, Alright. So, value for money. Um, it's a little pricey, but I still feel like it's worth a shot. Um, I would place Geist's Kama Citra number one. Okay. Um, and then followed by Red Rhino is number two. And number three would be Bira, followed by Beach. Oh, All yeah, right, that's interesting. That's my pick. Um, I th I think value for money for me. Yeah, you can um, let's go ahead and shuffle it. Yeah, I think. Oh damn! Nice. So for two hundred bucks, these two are two hundred. This is the TML five hundred ml. Um, Looking at the logistics and the freshness and the availability of Bira because it's locally made, uh, I think you're going to find the most freshest cans in Bangalore than what you can find. Our, this, this is coming from Goa. So in, in that case, I would say even with the price and logistics, Bira is definitely, uh, you know, bang for your buck and followed by Geist. And it's uh, 250 rupees for a fine enamel can. It's, it's, it's a really good deal. And uh, followed by Beach Shack, which is 200 rupees. And uh, Red Rhino, 230. 230, a little more pricey uh, for the same quantity. All right, so based on our personal preference, based on our personal liking, how do you rank them from one to four? Uh, in your impression, as like how much you like it as an American IPA? Okay. Yeah, one uh, all the way up to four. Got it. Uh, okay, number one. And number two, I would then go for number three is this, four is this one. All right, That's interesting. Um, I cannot argue on Kama Sitra, it's definitely yes. right there on the top. Uh, and for me, if I had to shuffle, 
Um, I'd probably pick Red Rhino as number two and Nava as number three and uh, Bira as number four. Um, again, Abba has that bit of that that kind of harshness that I find it in the finish uh, in this batch. So based on these ba current batches that we have in Bangalore, that we're rating them uh, based on uh, personal preference, that what we like. So obviously, you can see that we both have quite a different. Uh, opinion on yeah. uh, uh, these things but yeah um, guys for sure I think this is like the winner it's a clear winner <laughs> yeah uh, but I, I personally think that Dino is also up there for, for me because uh, even I found the flavors to be more expressive if this was not that harsh I would have like swapped this with this but yeah with this current batch and yeah definitely uh, this is the first batch and I, I don't want to you know jump into conclusions uh, because you know there's a lot more to come from Bira so um, I think it's going to be better in the next batches. But with this current batch, it's not as expressive as what I would typically expect, uh, especially when I compare to the other IPAs. Yeah. Uh, definitely there's a bit of uh, hop character that is lacking in this one. Um, but yeah, value for money, definitely <laughs> that I'll pick this. Uh, yeah, just go out, go out there and try every IPA that you can get yeah. uh, at your place. Uh, so we the, the one thing that's missing with us is... Uh, the eight finger ready from Goa Brewing Company, which is uh, IPA. Uh, so that's our take on all these. Uh, that's the Battle of IPAs episode for you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, uh, please let us know. Put it in the comments of uh, what you prefer, what you like, and what's uh, value for money for you.